Hello Aries, welcome to weekly reading. This is going to be for the week of the 26th going to the 2nd of October. Uh, so I'm going to jump straight into it. I was going to do bi-weeklies, but we're back to doing weeklies again. Um, because of the feedback I got, I think you guys prefer weeklies and actually so do I. So it works out better that way. Um, okay, let's jump straight into it Aries and see what's going on for you guys for the week. Let's see, please. The initial J is standing out. Okay, I thought something flipped, it didn't. For Aries, please. Oh, wow, beautiful. Okay, let's get some more. Number four is really significant for you guys. You could be seeing it in number twos as well. Two, 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 or four, four, four is coming through. Four Aries. Uh, I'm pretty sure the four is also the emperor, uh, which is your your card here, Aries, as well. And actually, I'm seeing a lot of your energy coming through. Very similar to Leo. Leo had this card as well. There is a new beginning coming through. I feel like you're wiping a slate clean, like you're really sorting something out so that it's an end of that chapter and a beginning of a new one and something that brings in a lot of good fortune for you as well which is nice but it's almost like you have to clear something up first it feels like you have to speak up about something maybe maybe it's a clearing of the air or maybe it is physically clearing something out um again it could be responsibilities that we kind of left and now they're catching up on us um i'm just gonna pull actually now let's talk about what we see so we had some really good outcome cards which i like but i'm gonna start off with the things we need to do first because it kind of goes with uh, the storyline right of what spirit's showing me so clean up this is actually an emperor energy for me so aries your energy is showing up again in your reading um one thing i want to mention is that the number fours are all about stability it is about the home so this could be uh, a pinpoint area of what you know is going to be on, in your attention uh during this week um, this could be clearing the home, this could be you decluttering, you could be selling some things, um, giving some things away, etc. Which will be very good for you. Some of you guys are clearing your space, okay, making it more comfortable for you to be around. Um, because I do see that there is some sort of movement, you're being removed from something. This could even be work related. But in order to do that first, there are some responsibilities that need catching up on. Uh, very independent energy coming through. Of course, the Emperor is all about. Um, Yes, that stability, but also about action taking. So you'll find you'll be in your masculine energy within this week, which is going to be very good because I feel like the outcome will end up being this yin and yang. So by doing this like masculine energy, by taking action, by dealing with things, by sorting things out, by being in that very heavy energy, it allows your feminine energy, regardless of gender, to sit comfortably in whatever it is that you're building this week so it does look good there is lovely balance coming through for you as well when this is completed and when this is done um, which is nice to see this could be a partnership that you guys are working on where you know um you both have certain expertise in certain area that the other person fills in our weaknesses uh, perfectly so that could be this could be a really good time for a partnership or a relationship deepening uh, by sharing responsibilities and maybe taking things to the next level um but of course as you can see there is some need to take responsibility within this week to clear something up to deal with something that may have not been very nice i kind of see that this is a card sort of after a tower moment almost like you're having to deal with some mess basically um but you especially out of everyone with this stag energy it is about leadership and you guys are very good at that you're very good at, at prioritizing certain things maybe in the past you were unaligned in that energy but within this week again you are in your energy that i keep picking up on so you will be able to deal with this you'll find yourself very busy this week here aries but this feels like this is good things these are productive things these are things that you need to do um because it's then leading towards this regeneration which is transformation four and a six is a ten so completion uh, and ending for a new beginning is coming through one thing i want to mention and something i always say when this card comes up is that you're always the tree whoever i'm reading for is this tree and this tree is protected by the divine as you can see with this blue ribbon you are growing in life but it almost feels like you can't continue to grow where you are because it's going to become damaging for you so this could be a location this could be a white place it's this is more to be, do with the an environment or the people that you're around here is going to start changing um because spirit is saying 
your roots are going to be absorbing everything so you are absorbing everything around you and at the moment your environment is becoming very toxic to you actually so in order for you to continue to grow spirit is pulling you in another direction here and into something much better so in this case it's about dealing with with responsibilities here aries um so you can move on to this next chapter happily and to grow even more because i do see you're leveling up in in a lot of ways but this almost feels like the the time before you do that level up okay um so with that yin and yang of course is about a balance is needed this is great for partnerships with that two two coming through um like i said that divine masculine divine feminine i feel like this is balancing itself out within this week and you're dealing with things greatly greatly <laughs> doing a good job aries we also have the happy family card coming through and the a rainbow as well which is nice because rainbows this is like ten of cups energy which is you know happiness for everyone involved in this so um if, you, if this is a family of course then i do see some wish fulfillment coming through for all of you uh, if this is you know your community around you as well um that you may refer to as a family then this is also improving as well um which is really nice to see and it, as you can see they're all connected they're all in it together so um i feel like there is more connectedness coming for you in terms of the people that you have around you there could be some good teamwork coming in as well aries Let's have a look and see in a tea leaf tarot what's coming up for you. We have gavel, so this says involvement with the law coming through, so that definitely could be where the responsibilities are, and maybe this is if this is moving and contracts and stuff like that, then definitely is coming through. Uh, you could actually be hiring, you know, lawyers and assistants at this time, as you can see with hand in need of help, assistance and guidance here. So this could be you helping, or again, this could be someone reaching, um, this could be you reaching out for some help in terms of the law uh, to deal with a situation that may have been very messy for you, but there is a successful outcome to this, okay? And flag, absolutely, do not be tempted to lower your standards. In terms of anyone who's dealing with contracts, I do see dagger coming through. Like this is tense, um, fear, worries, tense situations. And again, we have forces working against you here with the axe. One thing I'm going to mention is don't worry. Uh, it does feel like maybe someone is trying to get the upper hand in a situation, maybe in terms of a law, um, in terms of the law, sorry, or anything to do with contracts and people, you know. Um, but hand says that if you ask for help and if, if you are, yeah, I feel like the finding a soul tribe is going to help you out in a very difficult time here. There is a bit of a mess. I keep wanting to say it. this is messy, uh, but the flag is saying here, do not accept anything but success in the situation because I do believe that you can achieve it in this. And this does feel like a situation that's like quite unfair, actually. So uh, let's, let's dive in a lot deeper with the tarot and see for Aries, please, for this week. Yeah, nine of wands, look. This is that wounded warrior vibes. You have been through something quite difficult for you. Uh, Nine of Wands is where we kind of put up, have our back up here. You might find yourself being very busy, maybe more snappy towards people because you're going through a lot right now. That's what it seems like. You're having to defend yourself here. That's what it seems like. Um, clarify this. You know, look, we have conflict, the moon, the devil. Oof. You are definitely trying to cut ties from something that is... Uh, causing a lot of chaos in your life. The moon card is always a noisy card for me, and actually the five of wands is as well. <laughs> um, and the devil, of course, is about toxic energies, about being tied to something, responsibilities, chaos, uh, and confusion is, is something that you've been going through, maybe with someone or a situation. Um, you actually have nine of cups and the ace of swords that came out as well, which is about victory and wish fulfillment. So one thing I'm going to say is that you will have the upper hand in this as long as you stay consistent with your truth and do not back down like that flag was talking about because nine of cups is you will find yourself being in a very fortunate position. You're going to feel very happy about the outcome here. Uh, and it does feel like there's a bit of karma coming through for whoever is trying to stir up confusion or a mess in your life. It feels like Again, this could be someone who's out for their own gain. Uh, five of Wands and the Moon card feels like maybe some lies are involved in this or someone's really trying to, you know, beat a dead horse in, in terms of trying to make your life, not, not that they're trying to make your life worse, but they're trying to make their life better. And unfortunately, that means making your life more difficult here. Uh, but this feels very unfair, very, very unfair. It's toxic energy is well the moon card is also things that are hidden so again it feels like someone could potentially be 
lying, sugarcoating, not sugarcoating, but manipulating a situation in their favor, but it's not going to work, okay, which is really nice to see, Aries. Absolutely, look at this. Now you have divine timing and again the will turning in your favor after some sort of separation or uh, some sort of falling out. The, the tower card is something really kind of breaking down. So uh, any kind of situation really is coming through. Four of Swords is really about you healing from this. Uh, and of course, this is Jupiter ruled up here uh, with the Wheel of Fortune. So I do see that you are going to find some blessings happening and, and that this was a blessing. So fire signs seem to have a very similar message, but you guys really do have a lot of legal stuff or you know um you know involved in this and like we have ace of cups coming through this is a successful outcome for you guys it's love this is also because you carry all this love in within you and you've given it to others that you're going to be receiving some good karma and some peace from this look at this queen of cups big heart coming through um this could be over children even as well by the way so if this is a divorce of some kind, I, I see again, you will be victorious in this. Um, so don't worry. Again, that devil energy is coming through. I would also say if this person is trying to communicate with you outside of lawyers and stuff, don't let them, don't, don't reply. Because I do get a sense that they might twist things. So just be aware of that. Be very mindful. Some of you know what this person is like already. So one thing I'm just going to say is you do you okay don't give in uh to anybody here and uh, this is also about love so maybe you have new love in your life or you're about to have new love in your life uh, outside of this situation but again something needs to be dealt with first with that two of swords all right um i feel like maybe someone's in your life but you're not letting them too close to you just yet until again you feel comfortable in your own energy and until something has ended here yeah so that a new beginning can start up and here we go Aries is your card this divine masculine could also be someone that you're dealing with uh, which is someone who's very involved in their career very uh, on top of things very responsible which feels very different to who you were dealing with in the past uh, which is nice very independent energy coming through anything else spirit for Aries yeah yeah someone is being very sneaky but this is a uh, chapter you're putting to rest now here hey, the ten of swords has hurt you so badly someone made your life extremely difficult extremely difficult but this is changing so don't worry now one thing i want to mention here is like i've just been saying is someone could be trying to um someone so the seven of swords the story behind it is someone who's trying to who's stealing these swords so that they can't be used against him later uh, in the war so just be very mindful of this that someone could be trying to maybe un like take some information be careful of who you're speaking to be careful of mutual friends here again no communication with this person until it's is you know in court or you know everything's been sorted because it does feel very sneaky energy uh, coming through here for you outside of this let's talk about the good things that are coming the four of swords so you will be taking a break from this you'll be, be able to rest uh, which is probably something that you haven't been able to do for a while um i feel like maybe you haven't been able to even process things like with the king of swords it is that cold energy you've been trying to deal with something so much that yeah you kind of built this barrier around you to get things done to do things to speak your truth to be logical about it uh, which is good but i feel like you'll be able to finally rest after this as well which is good and catch up on your sleep everything is gonna work out for you uh hey aries let's pull you out an animal spirit card as well we have bring a gentle touch which is nice um because this is that feminine energy so we have that stag energy coming through which is what we were saying in the beginning, that kind of yin and yang, that divine masculine, divine feminine is really showing up in your reading. We have that clean up energy with the stag, the masculine, getting it done, sorting it out, taking action, building a plan, you know, dealing with things. And then we have this divine feminine, which is bring a gentle touch. So this could be talking about to yourself uh, and the people that you have around you. I feel like you do have some very close people, a happy family, um, or again, really beautiful people, your soul tribe around you, especially if you have kids as well. Um, and this is about bringing closeness into that but i also feel like this is an energy that you'll be able to again rest in what you've built for yourself after you've dealt with everything uh so once this is all over one thing i'm going to mention is that um you'll be able to yes rest you'll be able to 
manifest. The Empress is all about an abundance coming through for you as well. So I feel like your hard work is going to pay off. You'll be able to treat yourself much better. Make sure you are looking after yourself despite everything that's going on, okay? Because you are doing the hard work. You will be successful here in any contract, any legal situation, and anything that you're trying to fight for for yourself, you'll be successful in uh, because this is your due karma after everything, which is nice to see, okay, Aries? I am going to love you and leave you. I wish you all the best. Personal readings are linked down below. They're currently on a sale as well. We have some new services there too. So check those out if you're interested. But I will see you guys next week, okay?